Well, good morning. Well, good morning. Praise the Lord. I'm glad to see everyone. And I know you're going to pop on any moment, but I'm very thankful to the Lord for what he is doing in my life and, and glad. Good morning, Deshonda. I see you. Good morning. Is that Sister Jackie? Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for your encouragement. Amen, Sister Jackie. Thank you for your encouragement. Amen. I really appreciate it. You just don't know how much I appreciate it. I wish I could wave, so let me wave like this. I can't touch the phone to push the wave button, so I'm waving like this. Before I get started this morning, I just want to thank uh, thank those of you who share uh, the message, who constantly share the video. I am so appreciative of that, and I thank you so much for spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, that's how the word gets out, is that we spread the word of God. Amen. Sometimes we can't literally go to different places, but through technology, we can spread the message of Jesus Christ. I also want to thank those of you that have given, have sown seed into the ministry. I much, much appreciation to you as well. I'm really appreciative of that. Our church is appreciative of, of your giving. Amen. We love you. And the Lord loves a cheerful giver. And I tell you, I pray that you receive a hundred times fold, amen, what you have given, what you have sown in the ministry, be it finances, be it prayers, be that word of encouragement to me, for me to keep on going, to do what I do, much, I, I pray, a hundred times fold back to you. I love you with the love of the Lord. Amen. I want to get started and I want to do just a little digressing and not back from last week, but I have some heavy things to share with you today, some heavy things to share. And so the only way um, for me to do that is to kind of go back and, and lay a foundation. I'm one that generally before I start preaching, or teaching, I'm always laying a foundation, amen, to prepare our hearts for where we're going, amen. And so I just want to lay this foundation. I was invited uh, back in February to minister, to preach at the Bishop's Conference or the Bishop's Summit for the Federated Pentecostal um, Church Organization. And their theme was... Um, 2020 vision in Christ, we see what God sees. And the Lord began to give me a downpour on, on that theme. He gave me, he gave me some instructions for the church. And I'm telling you, you know, when God gives you a downpour, sometimes you don't always understand the totality of what that means when you're writing it down or what God is saying when he says it. And one of the things, several things that he said to me uh, was regarding the 2020 vision of Christ is that to re-strategize, rethink, re-equip, re-equip. And why did we have to do those things is because the enemy has upped his attacks and his arsenal. Mind you, this is back in February. The Lord also says that we must re have a reassignment because he was moving others from the background to the forefront, a realignment and repositioning of the body of Christ. Uh, repositioning of the body of Christ. And I'm telling you, saints of God, as I be, as I wrote those things down, as I said, I didn't realize the totality, the full sum of what was going to take place or what Holy Spirit was saying to me at the time. You know, we see in part when Holy Spirit gives us something, but the Lord does a download on us, we see in part, but in time we begin to walk that thing out. Are you understanding me? 
Hallelujah. We begin to walk. We begin to walk it out. We begin to live it out. And then we get the full understanding of what God is saying to us. And so, so he, he, he was saying that to me, you know, and, and the repositioning of ourselves, the repositioning of ourselves is because the enemy has, we see changes of demonic strategy that's being loosed on us. Amen. So therefore, we must change our strategy. We must reposition ourselves. Amen. So I want to get to the word after saying that. So, and because these things that I'm telling you, the re-strategize, re-equipping, uh, rethinking the way we do things, it's very, very key right now. Hallelujah. And I want us to look at Isaiah chapter 43, Isaiah chapter 43. It may be familiar to some, it may be something new to others. There was a time when, when some of us were preaching years and years ago, I think in the 80s, the late 80s and um, the early 90s, especially the 80s, that we would hear this particular scripture uh, read and preached upon, but now I'm, I'm the Lord is speaking it back to me, Amen. And He said, "Forget the former things; do not dwell on the past." And I'm reading verse 18 out of the NIV. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do not perceive it. Do you not perceive it? God is doing a new thing. You, you need to try and understand what God is doing and what God is saying, what God is speaking in this hour. And then he says, see, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not understand it? I am making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. I want you to know, saints of God, right there, God is doing a new thing. And where, he, where he, he's doing a new thing, I want you to understand we're going to come in provision. Amen. It's a, it is going to be a season of provision where there seems like it's going to be lack everywhere. We are going to have abundance and we will have provision. Amen. But God is doing a new thing. And one of the things that, that the Lord was speaking to me, and when I wrote this down, I wrote this down on, on uh, when the Lord was dealing with me about Isaiah chapter 43, that was on, on April 28th, just a few days ago. Amen. And he says, don't go back to the old things. Don't go back to the dead things. And, and thanks to God, I'm, I know right now I'm getting ready to walk on some eggshells and I'm getting ready to kick over some sacred cows and some of you might drop me and all that kind of stuff. But I want you to understand, whereas the world is preparing to go after this pandemic is preparing to go into their offices and their businesses with a fresh idea, with a new way of doing business. With, and tr they're trying to, to strategize and come up with ideas of how they're going to do business because it's not going to be business as usual. I want you to understand, and I was sharing this with our, our, our church yesterday, amen, is that we got to be careful. The church has to be careful because we don't have a clue. We're trying to go back doing things the same way that we left out. We can't wait for the doors of the church to be to swing open. I'm telling you, we're rushing. We can't wait. We're going to beat the doors down. What? To do the same old thing? Oh, my God. To do the same old thing? I don't think so. No. God is doing a new thing. He's calling for his people, for the church to have new strategies to reposition ourselves. Amen. And I'm telling you, we got to reposition ourselves. We got to have new new strategies. We need new ideas. Amen. Hallelujah. We got to rethink the way we do church. We got to rethink the way we do church. Especially when I think about the governor says for the state of Washington, 
And I forgot to say hi to all my friends out there. But when I think about the state of Washington, we realize that our, you know, we can do drive-by church. What? It, Pastor Francis is not trying to stand in no code. Amen. And we could do drive-by churches. Amen. So now we're, we're limited. We're still limited how we congregate. Amen. But I'm telling you, saints of God, we have to rethink even how we congregate. And if we can congregate, we have to, we, we need to ask God to give us divine strategies, hallelujah, for our next move, the church's next move, the, the, the way we're going to move into, we're, we're, we're into a new air, we're into a new season, amen, and we have to discern the times, we have to discern this season. Just a moment ago, I, my, I have my laptop sitting to my my left here, my my left here, and everything is turned around for me. But my laptop is sitting at my left, and I wanted to pull up something real quick because I wanted to share something with with you. And so it just kept hemming up, hemming up, hemming up. It wasn't it wasn't working properly. It wasn't it wanted to work, but it was struggling. And I said, Oh, I need to I need to restart it. I need to restart it, restart the whole thing, because I'm sure there's some updates that needs to be done. And sure enough, when I restarted my computer, all of a sudden it's telling me, okay, 30% done. Now you're having these updates. Please wait and all that. Saints of God, God is trying to update us. He doesn't want us going back into the same way that we did church. He doesn't want us to go back doing service the same way that we did. We have to re-strategize. We have to rethink this thing. I was sharing with our church uh, yesterday that, that uh, and, and I got to tell you something. Um, I have to tell you something. I want to move over to Psalms chapter 44, 144, 144, and then I'll tell you, then I'll tell you, let me read this, and then I'll, I'll finish my thought, amen. It says, Psalms chapter 144, verse 1, praise be, be to the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. I have to tell you, the other day, I was trying to take a nap. And as I laid down, I heard the Lord says, train my hands for war. Train my hands. I heard the spirit of the Lord very clearly. Train. I, I was trying to sleep. I wanted to sleep so bad. He said, train my hands for war. And then all of a sudden, I saw a classroom setting. And then I heard the word, mobilization, mobilization. When I looked at the scripture, praise be to the Lord, my rock, who trains my hand for war, my fingers for battle. I had to study that scripture out. I had to dissect it just a little bit. One of the things that Holy Spirit, as I, I, I had to get up and, and I had to write and, and say what the Lord was saying and, and mobilizing. Number one, we got to mobilize the church. We got to mobilize the body of Christ. We got to prepare for evangelism and revival. I want you to be praying for revival. Amen. But, he's, but I, as I shared with my church, I'm going to share with you. We got to meet people where they are. We got to meet them where they are. There's going to be jailhouse conversions, parking lot conversions, amen, beauty shop conversions. Folks get saved in the beauty shop. Folks get saved out in the street. Grocery store conversions, amen. There are folks going to be saved 
in different places because you can't just say, I, I'm going to take folks to church and let them hear the word. And you know, no, oh, oh, oh. God is going to do a quick work, church, and we got to be ready. That's why the mobilization, hallelujah. And so one of the things God was saying to me, he says, mobilization is to train the teachers. Teachers, you got to train the, the evangelists. You got to set up whatever kind of classroom that you can set up. The preachers, the pastors, we got to mobilize. We got to train the people to go out, to reach the lost. Now, I know we're already doing some of this. Amen. I know some of us are already doing this, but there has to be a greater mobilization so that we're on one accord so that we can be effective. When he says, train my hands to war. Train my hands for war. The hands, number one, means service. It means ministry. It also means worship. When we hands mean I'm serving someone else. Amen. And ministry. So he says, train my hands for war. What for? For ministry. So that I, I'm equipped to serve. I mean, I'm equipped to serve. Hallelujah. Then he says, train the fingers. Now, number one, oftentimes we uh, uh, relate the hands and the, the fingers to the fivefold ministry. And that's one inside of it. The fingers is also representing the power of God. Saints of God, beloved, we can't do anything without the power of God. We need the power of the Holy Spirit. We need the power of God, that force that's going to drive us, that force that's in back of us, that, that power that empowers us to, the, to do the work of the ministry. Hallelujah. The power that dwells on the inside of us to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So saints of God, we need to be empowered to do the work of the ministry. We need a reset. The church is being a reset. Amen. We are being repositioned in the body of Christ. It is time for a reset. The reset is happening whether you like it or not. So therefore, now we have to pray for strategy. You that are, are, are in the fivefold ministry, in the governmental ministries, I implore you to pray for strategy. I implore you to pray for the wisdom of God. Amen. For the direction of God. Hallelujah. When we get into our buildings, whether we get into our building, whether it's one month, two months, or whatever, the church has to plan for a strategy. We need divine strategy. And, and can I tell you something? I'm going to be frank with you. If God doesn't give me a strategy, I'm willing to jump on yours. Amen. I'm willing to help you out. I'm, really, I'm willing to financially to support your vision. Amen. Hallelujah. And then I, come on, Jesus. You know what? It's going to be done by few or by, by many. Yesterday, I, I got to tell you, when I had our church meet, meeting, I was almost a little bit discouraged, but God let me know that the work will get done by few or by many. Sometimes we're looking for a whole bunch of folks to join up and think God says it's going to be few or by many, but the work shall get done. Now, devil, hallelujah, hallelujah, but God is giving us wisdom. He wants us to seek him for wisdom. Hallelujah. He wants us to seek his face for guidance, for direction, what a strategy is, what a strategy is. Pray that his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What does it look like in the heavenly realm that we can pray his will down in the earthly realm? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us not go back to our churches the same way that we left. 
Heavenly Sent Christian Ministries, you're not going to go back. We're not going back. When we open the doors, we're not going back the same way that we left. Know that for a fact. We're not entering the doors the same way that we left. Hallelujah. God is giving us divine strategies, divine revelations. Amen. We've got to prepare for the future. We got to prepare for revival. Hallelujah. And revival is stirring up in my soul that we must prepare for revival. Hallelujah. If you think that you're going to do the, the two songs, a dance and a shout, air prayer, forget it. God is calling us to go higher. He's calling us to get out of the box. He's calling us to get out of, out of tradition. He's repositioning us, hallelujah, so that his will can be done, not what we want to do. I, I know, I know, I, I know. We've been doing our thing for a long time, and our thing feels normal. Our thing feels good, but God is repositioning the church, hallelujah, so that it looks like heaven. My God. Okay. Okay. Whew. Whew. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I want your will to be done, God. I want your will to be done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as we pray, as we pray against the spread of the, the pandemic, the, the COVID-19 pandemic, and, you know, and so and even as I look at that, uh, my heart breaks for those of you who have lost loved ones or, and know others that have lost loved ones. Amen. I, I, I think of the Heard family, the Heard family that has lost a, a precious one. Many folks are losing, but saints of God, as we pray against this pandemic and as we keep our loved ones up in prayer, amen, and pray for their safety, let's remember to pray for revival. Let's remember to pray for souls that are coming in, amen. Let's, let's get in position, hallelujah. Church, let's get in position to receive souls. Let's get in position position, hallelujah, to win the loss because the floodgates are going to open. The floodgates are going to open. Folks are not interested in how we do church anymore. They want to know, is there a God and does he love me and does he care? And I want to let folks know there is a God. He does love us and he does care. And everything is being repositioned and being resituated, coming with new strategies and new ideas. And the church has got to get on board. Let's reposition ourselves. Hallelujah. And ask the Lord where you fit in the scheme of things. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, I have to tell you, I never know how these recordings are going to go. I, I just thank God for all of you that are, are listening. I thank God for all of you that are understanding, that are hanging in there, that are praying. Keep praying because prayer is changing us. Prayer is working. Prayer is changing the atmosphere. Hallelujah. It's shifting the atmosphere. Hallelujah. It's shifting the atmosphere and it's shifting us so that we can position ourselves better in God, in God. I love you, church. I want to thank you for all of that you're doing, I want to thank you. And please know that if you are not where you're supposed to be, know that Heavenly Father loves you. I always have to remember that. Sometimes I forget to tell, remind people that God loves them, that God cares for them. He knows your need. He knows where you are. He knows, he knows your address and your phone number. He knows your social security number. He knows you better than you, you know yourself. God loves you. Stay prayerful. Amen. And I just want to reiterate again, 
Thank you for those who have sown seed into our ministry. Thank you to those who are sharing the, the gospel, sharing our, our, our Facebook page. And thank you so much for those who are praying for me. I so, I so appreciate it. I so, so appreciate it. Amen. Um, please look up our website. We will have information on, on that. And I also, um, I do have some, we'll be updating the information because they are trying to pass a law uh, that's regarding teaching sex education in our schools um, and starting at, at kindergarten, if I'm not uh, mistaken. And we got to pray against this thing, not only pray, but we got to call our Congress. I've been on the telephone before and have called, but we have to call our Congress. And I want to add that information to our website today. So please, please look up our website and it will be under the page of events, I believe. I'm I'm going to place it under the page of events and probably on our, our um, homepage so that uh, people can see it immediately because Washington State, this is something we must do. The church must do. It's within our power to, to tell our, our senators and our representatives which way we want them to vote, and we must do it. I love you. I love you. Be blessed. Be blessed. Hallelujah. God bless you so much. Amen. Hallelujah.